Talk about being in the right place at the right time. I'm two time zones away from home. I'm out here in Kalispell, Montana. And what rolls in? But a 2024 preview transcend. Stay tuned. I think you're going to like what you're seeing. And they're not done yet. Hello and welcome everybody, Josh the RV Nerd, and I am really happy to be standing exactly where I am at exactly the right time. This RV behind us is technically a 2023, but it has the first wave of 2024 updates on it, so we're getting to see a 24 preview today. Now, they're not completely done. Future videos will supersede this. This is not all the way to the 24 stage. They're basically doing a, a step zone process to iron out a few things before they really go whole hog on it. But if this is what's in store, I already like what I'm seeing. When I first glanced at this, I thought it was going to be a case of brand new look, same great taste, where all they did was just kind of tweak the color palette a little bit. But I started looking a little bit closer, and then I called uh, my, my rep and got some more info on this. So first of all, the, the exterior, they facelifted it. It had kind of a big, heavy gray band across the middle. I didn't dislike how it looked. This does feel a little bit more modern and fresh, and it looks like it's moving fast even when it's sitting still. Also, the interior, they, they just went through and just touched it. They just softened it up a little bit. It's not quite so HOA cowboy brown anymore. It's got like I don't know. I'm not I'm a guy, so like I only know the names of the colors in the eight crayon pack, but for me, I like it. It just feels a little bit more buttery smooth. But then I started diving through a little bit deeper. First of all, I love this floor plan without a dinette in the slide. That double dinofa, you got a hide a bed in the back, a triple theater recliner over in the slide, straight across from the entertainment. That is how I would do this RV personally every single time. True Queen Bed is still here. They've gone to a tankless on-demand water heater, so nobody has to deal with those chilly willy showers. Um, what else was, oh, I looked at it and they've always had crazy good storage in these, but I noticed no oven. So I started looking around and they went to a uh, convection air fryer microwave. Air fryer, by the way, one of the best pieces of marketing jargon ever. It's just, they, they gave a new name to a convection microwave and a whole new generation of people who never had a convection microwave suddenly fell in love with them because we heard the word fryer and it made us think chicken nuggets without the fat. How about that? Now, just some initial housekeeping. Once again, what we're looking at is technically a 23 well, I'm calling this a 24 preview because uh, some of the things have already started taking place. Now, it's not completely there. For instance, you're still seeing a little strip of carpet in the slide. I called the factory guys to see what else might be coming, and that was the first thing they said. Uh, you know, additional, you know, updates are going to get rid of the carpet in the slide. So that was a bit of feedback I heard quite a bit this last year for the 22-23 season. And once again, it looks like the people have spoken. So continue to provide that feedback. I know sometimes it feels like nobody's listening because it doesn't always happen quickly, but it does happen. It does have a way of getting there. Now, you may have also noticed uh, something I'm finding very exciting with this RV. The d -d 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 double Dinofa. Um, by default, there's a U dinette over here, big old giant U dinette. But the problem is the U dinette is what directly faces the entertainment. Now we've got almost uh, kind of like a reflection. Uh, you've got a big triple theater seat uh, staring straight at the entertainment. We're going to get there in just a second. And when you get rid of the dining, uh, the, the dinette, you start to ask the question, yeah, but where do I eat? It comes with a floating multi-height adjustable table that we're going to look at in a little bit. And I think you're going to like what you see there. Now, it's not as obvious by just looking at it from the outside, but when you're in here in the living room, the window coverage is fantastic. And I'm noticing that's a full viewing window in the entry door. If I'm not mistaken, I think previously... That was only just a frosty glass window. So now we have the ability to have more light in here. Um, it doesn't include a privacy shade though. So I guess in fixing one problem, they've created another. But I'm, I'm, I like where they're going with this. Now they've also, like I said, just softened up the wood tones. It's still certainly in the Brown family. Uh, Mr. Brownstone's calling over here. Um, <laughs> I always like to try to sneak in a good Guns N' Roses reference uh, if I can, although I, I do believe they were singing about something else, neither here nor there. Um, you notice, I, I walked in, I was like, whoa, whoa, they got rid of the oven. Is this a shortage? What's going on? And this is exactly how it's intended to be. This is their intention moving forward. I'd love some feedback on this. They maximized even more storage in here. 
And what they did is they went to uh, a uh, air fryer convection microwave oven up here. I love the name air fryer, by the way. It's just, it's so funny. I know I talked about it before, but that's something Winnebago's been doing for a little bit. And it's interesting to see um, sometimes Winnebago uh, in their travel trailers and the minis, uh, are they're kind of accused of being a little too far out there. Maybe they were just ahead of the curve and maybe some of us hadn't caught up to it yet. I don't know. Be kind of curious to know what you think. Now, in case you're wondering, uh, there's some people who maybe aren't aware. You can still do some baking in that oven up there. Um, you know, if, if you want to get your cookies and biscuits or whatever, you can do those in that convection microwave oven. That's one of the cool things about our air fryer, uh, again, as we're, I love that. It is crazy to me with just the touch up and the wood tones and going to that double Dynofa, it has been so transformative and it has elevated this floor plan greatly in my personal, uh, opinion and estimation. That is a uh, still 12 volt compressor fridge over there. Word is that might be going to a black glass front, which I think is gonna look good, but man, it's gonna show a lot of thumbprints. So you're gonna wanna make sure you keep that clean. Uh, we'll see what ends up you know, transpiring uh, over time. Now, uh, the bathroom I don't see has really changed a whole heck of a lot other uh, than just obviously the wood tone updates. I do love that hanging towel bar over there. Little details like that really add up and I think really make a, a big difference. Still very fluffy friendly around that porcelain foot flush stool, which again, a lot of campers in this class are only doing uh, plastic stools, so that's kind of cool over there. Um, we are a six and a half foot interior height. So if you're a little bit taller like me, you will have your head up in the skylight, but they do have it intelligently positioned. So that was not an issue for me whatsoever. Um, the uh, the fans are still the, the smaller variety. I have had zero word on that changing. I would be surprised if it did. Um, it seems like very few, I think, is Cherokee the only stick and tin builder who does the big vent fans in their bathrooms? Uh, I can't think of another one, I, I don't know. Um, uh, the bedroom up here, this is a 60 by 80 true queen, which is nice because a lot of campers will give you a camp queen and they'll say things like you could upgrade to a true queen because there's room at the foot of the bed. But this is a true queen and still has room at the foot of the bed. So you actually have room, especially over in this corner. You can get dressed in your bedroom without having to take your naked butt out in the living room or and close all the shades or whatever. TV hookups off to the side here because we do have a sliding privacy door, so you can't exactly mount a TV over there. Um, household and USB outlets on both sides of the bed. Uh, if you notice, we've got uh, two different types of United States Bs. We've got a Type A and a Type C, which I'm glad to see. If I'm going to be picky, I would like it if they adopted uh, a headboard power pocket situation. I think it could be done for a little bit of no money, basically, because I don't know why that hanging wardrobe needs to be exactly that tall. But um, I don't know. What, what do I know? I don't. I don't know everything. I'm just some stupid nerd that waves cameras around campers. Moving on. Let's crack open that storage there. Still have the uh, individual dresser drawer on both sides of the bed. Uh, the bed still has an easy lift, uh, which is very handy if you want to, uh, you know, uh, put a heavier mattress on that instead of the backbreaker death wafer that most factories tend to include. Um, that table that we're going to see in a minute stores under the, the, the bed very nicely, very easily. And you haven't really seen a lot of like hanging storage or anything. That's kind of what that little closet is over there. Just a little bit of bonus storage space. Now, I am a little, hmm, 50-50 on this. I like, again, that they put full viewing windows in the doors, but with no privacy shade in a bedroom. Mm, I don't really love that. Now, a shade could be added. You could always just, like, I've seen people actually just hang a heavy piece of cloth over it to block that out. And that is dead bolting, by the way. So you don't have to worry about the gas station murder hobo walking straight in and, and just watching you breathe while you sleep, brother. Because, I mean, if you don't lock the door, they'll do it. I've, I, I, I've never had it happen, but I know a guy. I mean, I don't know a guy, but, you know, it sounded good. <laughs> <laughs> giving you a little bit of a look passing through the other direction here um oh my gosh i got so excited to talk about all the updates i didn't open like all the storage and everything like i um normally do uh <laughs> whoops how about we start doing that and as long as we're facing this direction let's start right up top there this is all pocket screwed lumber core uh cabinetry by the way um 
You could do a theater seat in the back here, but with the theater seat in the slide, this makes the most sense to me, having that hide bed there. And you're going to get to see that table move around this living room. It's very multifunctional. You see that it's height adjustable. It has like coffee table height. You could also use it outside because it's free floating. So if you uh, want to use it like a little table between a couple recliner chairs outside, you could do that. Uh, it can obviously become a dining table uh, if need be. And again, this year... Uh, they have added even more storage into this kitchen space right here. Um, I, I do like that big space under the sink, though, for a wastebasket. That is really, really smart content right there. Uh, and that, that table, I would say it actually adjusts to countertop height, but as you notice, it actually adjusts to just slightly above the countertop height uh, in this camper. Now, a couple other things that is a, I don't know if I mentioned before, but that is a Roku smart TV that's hanging out above the kitchen counter here. There's about an acre of countertop space. And with this being a stick built camper, if you go back through the video, like both sides of the sofa, that allows them to put power outlets in better positions than even their sister, the Grand Design, uh, Imagine. Which, by the way, if you like this floor plan, but you'd like it laminated, Imagine makes that. It's called the 2500 RL. Now, uh, uh, cabinet ducted heating and no floor heat vents and no floor carpeting when that change transpires. That carpet in the side again going away. That will make this RV very pet friendly. Um, it's not bad in transit, but it's not perfect. This one's going to have what I call two-stage travel access, where from the living room door, we can have a little snacktastic travel stop. The fridge doesn't open all the way, but I think it opens enough. And, you know, getting to all of your drawers and your counter space, if you need to, you know, pull out a loaf of bread and make a sandwich, you can do that here. Sorry, I bumped my elbow on the door as I was sliding out of this thing. With the rear sofa back there, you've always at least got a place to sit down kind of out of the weather. But... If you don't want to open the slide and you want to do a little bit of stealth mode camping, you are going to have to slide up front here into the uh, the bedroom entry door, which, remember, has a deadbolt, so if you want to close that sucker off, you can. Now, from here, if you want to get inside and what they're going to do an overnight stay over, you got to do an emergency little potty stop, or maybe you just want to pack the camper up. You know, you can do that. Something else to consider is this dead blank space right here uh, directly available from the side like bedroom door. A lot of people don't think about that as being potentially available cargo space, but really the only limit to that is just what your imagination can allow for. And I'm telling you, I am, I liked the look of Transcends before. I think these things are just, it has a dynamite look right now. What do you think? Now, if you look at the uh, the weights and the measures here, um, I think that this will generally qualify for what a lot of people consider half-ton towable. I will say the cargo capacity, I'm definitely glad it's not any lower, you know, around that 12, 1300 pound range for something like this, especially with all the cabinet space that they have. It starts to feel like anything lighter is going to be a problem. And if you're a person who likes to tow with water in the tanks, you might want to really consider that. And again, I hope you appreciate how I bring things like that to light. Now, I wish the sun was shining directly on this because it looks so much better versus the cloud cover. Uh, I've been dodging raindrops all day today, but I was like, come hell or high water, I am getting out here and I'm going to record this thing. I brought an umbrella. I'll get soaked if I have to. My camera's waterproof. It'll work. Power tongue jack up front, of course. Uh, all, all the real big hitter features you expected from last year are back. Even little toys like the little uh, the flag holder on the front. So you, you can fly the stars and stripes out there or your favorite little camp and flag. Theoretically, one of these days, maybe it's already happened by the time this footage comes out. I don't know. But uh, eventually I have my own little nerd merch, including some silly little RV nerd herd flags. So who knows? Maybe you fly one of those out there. Now, um, notice the entry doors and, and just the change in the metal. The entry doors, they went to a uh, all glass door and uh, it, it definitely gives it a very striking look. It was actually one of the things that kind of caught my eye on this, uh, in addition to the change in the, uh, you know, the exterior metal color patterns, but the, uh, that, that Grand Design Compass logo on those doors kind of just jumped out at me. And it's not much, but I'm kind of glad they did that because otherwise they do kind of start to feel like a big blank wall right there. Now, just behind the front door, you have your new tankless on-demand water heater. So no more gas and electric. It is propane only, but as long as you got propane and just a little bit of 12 volt, folks, you got hot water. It just comes right out of there. Now, the speakers are up high. I talk about that all the time in RVs. I'm I'm really starting to become of the, the camp where I would just 
let, let's just kill the outside speakers, period. I'd rather just get rid of them at this point, but that's that's just me. They don't hurt anything being there. I just, I, I'm not necessarily in love with them. On the back, of course, they got that factory installed ladder. Most things in this class are only giving you prep for telescopic ladders. There are a few manufacturers, uh, like your J Flights, you can get an actual factory ladder installed on them, but it seems like uh, brands actually doing ladders are becoming fewer and far between. Now your underbelly is enclosed. It is forced air heated. This has a very solid extended season package. Um, and you saw a little preview of it uh, earlier in the video up top. You do have the same 165 watt roof solar panel currently. If that changes, I'll release future videos that will, you know, supersede some of the details that you see on this. So if you're watching this a couple months after this footage came out, you may actually want to check our channel to see what might be a little bit newer and uh, what may have updated and upgraded since this came out or contact our team and we can guide you through. So like I said, this is just wave one of the uh, potential 2024 updates we have coming. So I'm kind of here, uh, you know, what, what else do you think they need? They're already, I already have this on authority. They're getting rid of the carpet. That is happening. It just hasn't been accomplished yet in this 23. That's a 24 proto. Um, I, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm really excited to see what else might happen through this family of RVs. Cause I've actually really personally liked Transcend for a while and it's really cool to see them getting better because you haven't seen them really update much in the last couple of years and they just keep progressing forward. And this is smart content in my opinion, but that's my two cents. Now I'll leave you a link in the video description. You can see where we have a 245 parked. Um, Grand Design allows us to publish MSRP on our website, but they don't allow us to publish our discounted sale pricing. They just can't do that. They just don't allow us. So we don't sell for MSRP, contact our team. You don't even got to give your blood type. They can give you a quote on something. And we don't do hidden dealer fees. So you're welcome for that. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone. Mm -hmm.